Welcome to Local 24 News This Week. I'm Richard Ransom. We're here every Sunday at 9 a.m. and 10.35 p.m. hoping that by the end of our 30 minutes together, you'll feel better informed about the real stories behind the big stories. Local 24 political analyst Otis Sanford is here in the studio with me. And in a moment, we'll be joined by Memphis Congressman Steve Cohen. Lots to talk about with him from voting rights legislation, COVID stimulus funding, and ongoing security threats at the U.S. Capitol. In the Shelby County vaccine fiasco, the city seems to be proving the state made a wide choice by putting it in putting it in charge I should say of the vaccine rollout that's the good news but the political fallout from what happened may be just beginning as Republicans seem to smell blood in next year's county mayor's race Mississippi's mask mess President Biden accuses governors in the Magnolia State and the Lone Star State of Neanderthal thinking for lifting their mask mandates and MLGW's power play CEO JT Young says it's time for the utility to turn out the lights on the possibility of leaving the Tennessee Valley Authority, citing our recent blast of winter weather as proof electricity is more than just a commodity. But is that in the best interest of the utilities consumers? We will get to all of that in the show today, I promise. But first, uh, let's introduce Congressman Steve